with another lesson in A Course in Miracles. Today we are on a year in miracles, workbook lesson number 164 for day 164. So I'm going to jump right in with today's lesson. Today it says, now we are we one with him who is our source. What time but now can truth be recognized? The present is the only time there is. And so today, this instant, now, we come to look upon what is forever there, not in our sight, but in the eyes of Christ. He looks past time and sees eternity as represented there. He hears the sounds the senseless busy world engenders, yet he hears them faintly for beyond them all, he hears the song of heaven and the voice for God more clear, more meaningful, more near. The world fades easily away before his sight. Its sounds grow dim. A melody from far beyond the world increasingly is more and more distinct. An ancient call to which he gives an ancient answer. You will recognize them both for they are but your answer to your Father's call to you. Christ answers for you, echoing yourself, using your voice to give his glad consent, accepting your deliverance for you. How holy is your practicing today as Christ gives you his sight and hears for you and answers in your name the call he hears? How quiet is the time you give to spend with him beyond the world. How easily are all your seeming sins forgot and all your sorrows unremembered. On this day is grief laid by for sights and sounds that come from nearer than the world are clear to you who will today accept the gifts he gives. There is a silence into which the world cannot intrude. There is an ancient peace you carry in your heart and have not lost. There is a sense of holiness in you. The thought of sin has never touched. All this today, you will remember. Faithfulness in practicing today will bring re rewards so great and so completely different from all things you sought before that you will know that here your treasure is and here your rest. This is the day when vain imaginings part like a curtain to reveal what lies beyond them. Now is what is really there made visible, while all the shadows which appear to hide it merely sink away. Now is the balance righted and the scale of judgment left to him who judges true. And in his judgment will a world unfold in perfect innocence before your eyes. Now you will see it with the eyes of Christ. Now it is transfer, its transformation clear to you. Brother, this day is sacred to the world. Your vision given you from far beyond all things within the world looks back on them in a new light. And what you see becomes the healing and salvation of the world. The valuable and valueless are both perceived and recognized for what they are. And what is worthy of your love receives your love, while nothing to be feared remains. We will not judge today. We will receive but what is given us from judgment made beyond the, beyond the world. Our practicing today becomes our gift of thankfulness for our release from blindness and from misery. All that we see will but increase our joy because its holiness reflects our own. We stand forgiven in the sight of Christ with all the world forgiven in our own. We bless the world as we behold it in the light in which our Savior looks on us and offer it the freedom given us through his vision, not our own. Open the curtain in your practicing by merely letting go all things you think you want, your trifling treasures put away and leave a clean and open space within your mind where Christ can come and offer you the treasure of salvation. He has need of your most holy mind to save the world. Is not this purpose worthy to be yours? 
Is not Christ's vision worthy to be sought above the world's unsatisfying goals? Let not today slip by without the gifts it holds for you, receiving your consent and your acceptance. We can change the world if you acknowledge them. You may not see the value your acceptance give the, gives the world, but this you surely want. You can exchange all suffering for joy this very day. Practice in earnest and the gift is yours. Would God deceive you? Can his promise fail? Can you withhold so little when his hand holds out complete salvation to his son? And that's it. That's our lesson for today. A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 164. Now are we one with him who is our source? And again, it's another repeat of what we've been talking about for the last 163 days, that we are one with the mind of God, right? And it's just acknowledging that again and again and again, because we think what will make us happy and what will bring us joy is out there in the world, right? Because that's where we look for it. We look for it out there in our family, in our friends, in our relationship. And we think, well, if we do this thing, if we just try a little bit harder to make everybody else happy, then we'll, we'll have happiness, right? Because isn't that what we were taught? If we do everything to make everybody else happiness in the end, we'll be happy. Well, that's not really the way it works. The way it works is we need to open ourselves up to the happiness that's inside of us, to the oneness and the wholeness that's ours through this one-mindedness. And only then, only when we connect with that source, which is what it said today, connect with your source, only then can we bring our gifts out and share them with everyone. Because otherwise we have nothing, nothing to give, right? We're in need out here looking and wanting and hoping and, you know, and searching and looking for all this happiness outside of ourselves. When in truth, we just need to quiet our mind because it's all there for us. We need to connect, go inside, connect to that oneness that we share with Christ's mind, right? With that one mind of God. And when we connect with that, then we can share those gifts with everyone and with the world. And it just means that we are one. We are love. Connect to God, source, love, the universe, whatever that word is for you and build your happiness that way. Know that you are connected and know that you are never alone and you have all of those gifts and all of that treasure house just waiting for you. But instead we're like, no, I don't wanna look there. I'm gonna look over here still because we're still looking for that drip, right? We're still looking for that drug that's gonna make us happy outside of ourselves. It's like an addiction we have and we keep needing to get our fix our fix of that love drug or that acceptance drug out here when really it's all inside of us. So just try it today. Quiet your mind. Connect to that place inside of yourself where there's always peace and always love. Connect to that and see what happens. And that's it. That's our lesson for today. Hi everyone. Great to see you here on the live feed this morning. Good morning, Colette. Hey, Carl. Good to see you here this morning. Hey Mark, good morning Tom, nice to see you here this morning. Hey Pam, good to see you. Rainy morning in New York. Yeah, we've got a little bit of rain here too in Florida today. Sometimes I like the rain, you know, it gives you that peaceful sense of um, being able to connect and go inside, right? Hi Carl, good to see you here. Good morning Vera, nice to see you on the live feed. Good morning John, nice to see you. Hi honey, good to see you here on the live feed. Good morning, Joseph. Yes, I know. Thanks for the ancient call and deliverance from the insane illusion. That's right, Vera, because we're always looking out here in the illusion for our happiness. And everything is inside of us. It's always been there, that ancient call. We need to connect to and plug in, just like we plug in our cell phones every night before we go to sleep, right? So that we have a full charge battery in the morning. We need to do that with ourselves. We need to plug in to that source connect so we have a full charge battery to bring into the world and to share with others. That's how it works. Hi Kimberly, good morning Cindy, good to see you here on the live feed. Raining in New Hampshire too, well I guess it's raining all up the east coast today. That must be the way it is. Good morning Marcella, good to see you here this morning. Hi Nell, good to see you. Uh, thanks Claire. Um, good morning Ab 
Abishik. I hope I said that right. Um, nice to see you here this morning. And, uh, and yeah, we're doing A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 164. I hope you are enjoying the lessons. And feel free to share what's coming up for you with these lessons and uh, what's happening when you plug into Source and you acknowledge that you are one with, um, with your Source, right? Because miracles happen when we're connected and we look inside and we go inside to connect to what's true in us in us and what is the truth that we can bring out and share with everyone. So have a wonderful day today, everyone, and I will be back tomorrow on the live feed for our next A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. Enjoy the rain, maybe the sun will come out in a little bit and you'll be able to enjoy some sunshine, but most of all, enjoy connecting to that oneness inside of yourself and share that oneness with the world. And I will see you all here tomorrow morning. All right, guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.